Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this beginner's guide tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the excellent Daisy Boosters website to create custom spawn points. So what we're looking at here is this is Chernerus, and you probably should just be able to see these little green player spawn points. And one of the coolest things you can do, and one of the most powerful things you can do to change the gameplay on your server, is to change those spawn points. So instead of, for example, spawning along the coast, you could spawn them, say, uh, Livonia style. So you could have people spawning along the north and maybe the northwest so that they would uh, have a different way into the map. But what we're going to do in this particular uh, video is we're going to create some custom spawns around the northwest airfield around here. So people are going to spawn there. Now, before we dive in, I uh, just want to talk about what control spawns on your server. So what we do is if we go over to Nitrado and then you go into your web interface and then you go to the dashboard of your server and if you're not using Nitrado it'll look a little bit different but the ideas are the same. Then if you go to the file browser and you go into your missions folder so for PlayStations it's PS missions, for Xbox it's for XB missions, for PC it's just missions. And then you go into Chernerus for a Chernerus map, Enoch for a Livonia map and Sikhan for Sikhan map. If you go in here and you scroll down to CFG player spawn points.xml. You can click on it and you can have a look at it. This is the file that controls how players spawn in on the map. So that's the one that we're going to be creating. Um, now, before you do any editing to that as well, what I want you to do is, is to rename it. So rename it CFG player spawn points. Um, uh, back.xml so bak so it's your backup and you do that with that icon there so that's that's what we're going to be creating now i'm actually going to be doing this on a local server so on my on my pc at home i can run a local server i'll put a link in the description below this video to how you can do it yourself and it's a great way of testing things out and practicing before you do things live but it's exactly the same idea so if i go into my daisy server folder on my computer and I scroll down, scroll down, there's the missions folder, there's Chernerus, and here we have CFG player spawn points. And we can open that up and we could have a look at it. It's always good to have a look at it because you can kind of get an idea of how it works. But what we're going to do is, as I said, we're just going to rename that. Well, we're going to double click it like that and we're going to call it BAK. So it's the backup. So if something goes wrong, we've still got the original ones. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go over to daisyboosters.com or app.daisyboosters.com. I'll put a link in the description below this video. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to spawn point generator, like so. And this is very, very clever. So you can choose the map that you want to go on. Uh, scroll up a little bit so we could select a different map like that. And then we can scroll down and we can zoom in like so so let's imagine we're creating like a death match situation where i just want players to spawn around here and then make their way in and they can all battle it out on northwest airfield so all we do is we just click and if you look on the right hand side it's creating player spawn points for us if you're doing this on the coast or near water make sure you uh, <laughs> don't put them in the water there we go. So they're they're all done. So we've got all our spawn points. How easy is that? Loads of them. And then, oh, that's that's a bit. So there. Once we've done that, we can now export that. So we say export. There we go. And that is the file that we've got. So we can download the XML. So that's now downloaded to our local computer. So I can click on that icon there. It's in my downloads folder. So I can cut that. I can now go back to my server and I can paste it in so it's there. Now, whenever we do any editing or create any custom files, it's always good to use an online XML validator like xmlvalidation.com. And this will pick up mistakes whereby the syntax, it's a bit like the spelling is wrong. Say you've missed out a bracket or you've put an exclamation mark in the wrong place. So what I can do is I can say choose file I can go to where I've got my server, which is here, Daisy server, MP missions. We're going to be doing this on Chernerus. 
and CFG player spawn points is there. So we can say check it, validate, and no errors found. Now, just because the XML validator hasn't found any errors doesn't mean there aren't any errors there, but they're not syntax errors. So it's not like spelling. It's actually, spelling is, is the wrong word. Grammar. It's the grammar of the code is correct. Okay, so that's good. So what we can now is we can now test this. And when you run a local server, you do have this amazing ability to be able to, to test things before you do put them live. So what I can do is I can fire up the server in a second. Let me just delete the storage. By deleting the storage on my local server, I've in effect wiped it so it's ready to go again. So now we can go. Now I start it up by going, double clicking on the batch file. And while that's doing that, I can minimize all of this. There's Photoshop. There's the launcher ready to go. So now if I go to LAN on servers, let's just refresh that. Let's join here. Just wait for this to load up. And you can have a lot of fun with this player spawn points you really can you could like make people spawn on Skiliski Island or around the prison or you could even reverse the situation on Livonia so people spawn in the south on Sakal, which I think um, is great for changing spawn points you could change spawn points from the north it's kind of from the northeast around the mainland isn't it? you could put them spawn points around Italy you know that bit that's that's down um, towards the southwest do all this wonderful stuff and it really changes out the, the gameplay experience that you can have um and what i would suggest as well is that you can have seasonal events where you could say okay so for the next two weeks if you spawn in you're going to have this sort of spawn situation uh, and if you combine this with custom spawn gear loadouts well you know the world's your oyster then so here we are so as you can see if we bring up the map where we spawned in there just where we thought we would so we can now go do -do kill now we might well spawn in the same place let's have a look see where it does because the way that spawns work in daisy are quite they like to spawn people together then moves on a little bit and spawns more people together i'm not quite sure how this file works i haven't had a good look at it but how fast is this what we've done <laughs> we've just got into a map clicked a load of things and uh Oh no, we're on the other side now. And so these are going to be all the spawn points around there. How absolutely fantastic, fantastically easy that is. So now we know the file works. We can exit from that. We can shut that down. And then what you would do is on your server, um, and we've gone into the, the main uh, root directory of the mission, so daisyoffline.churnus plus, we would just click on upload file. Uh, find the file that we had, which was CFG player spawn points. There we go, that one. And I would open that and upload that, restart the server, and we would be we would be good to go. So that is absolutely fantastic. So there we go. So DaisyBoosters.com, really really cool website. So useful. Big big thanks has to go out to. Aussie House, King Alabar, and of course Don Sibley, who came up with quite a bit of the code behind a lot of the things they do. Uh, absolutely marvellous, free to use, and deserves all our support um, that we can give because it makes so many things so much easier than it used to be. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If you have it, like, you want to see more of the same press subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon.